Today is Good Friday, and yet at the same time, on this Good Friday, we remember uh, something that is horrible, horrific, horrendous, and yet we call it good. Because today we remember the crucifixion of Jesus. A man that did miracles, healed the sick, was compassionate towards the poor, spoke the most brilliant teaching that's ever existed in the history of mankind. And as human beings, even in all of those facts, we crucified him. It's horrible and yet it's good. Why is it good? Because it reveals the love of God for mankind. It reveals the love of God for you and for me because we're all sinners. And God saves us not through the power of his might but through the sacrifice of real love. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, God made flesh, shed his precious blood on the cross to cover all of our sin for all time. And so even though the act of the crucifixion on man's part is horrible, the grace of God and his love and mercy is on display. And so today we remember the crucifixion of Jesus. John chapter 19, I want to encourage you, maybe after you watch this video, uh, you'll read the whole chapter. I'm going to read verses 28 through 30. The Bible says, Later, knowing that everything had now been finished, and so that scripture would be fulfilled, the crucifixion of Jesus is a fulfillment of prophecy. So that the scripture would be fulfilled, and Jesus knowing all that had happened, Jesus said, I am thirsty. And a jar of wine vinegar was there, so they soaked a sponge in it, put the sponge on a stalk of the hyssop plant, and lifted it to Jesus' lips. And when he had received the drink, Jesus said, it is finished. With that, he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. It is finished can also be interpreted. The debt has been paid. Jesus would have said to Telestai, what's the debt that has been paid? What is finished? The debt is what we owe God because of our sin. And the beauty of today, why it's called Good Friday, is Jesus paid it all. He paid a debt he did not owe because you and I have a debt that we could never pay. And so today, let's remember the sacrifice of Jesus, that he paid for all sin, for all time. Let's remember the cross. And then also the hope that Sunday's coming. Today, let's remember the cross, and this weekend, we'll celebrate the resurrection. Let me pray for you. Father, give us wisdom of your love for us, in and through the cross, we receive communion regularly to remember the cross, to remember your sacrifice. And this is a good thing. And so may we be honest about the seriousness of sin. And may we be hopeful about the reality of your salvation. Thank you for your love, mercy, and grace, and for the price you paid because you love sinners, even sinners like me. Give us wisdom of your love, we pray in Jesus' name.